Hi, Tech Rabbit here again. Been um, digging into the world of security cams and um, been trying to use this product here, TP Link the Casa KC1 200. And um, the issue is that it won't connect to to my router, so it's actually it works. You 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 can start it up. And you see that it starts, and then it blinks this uh, green and orange thing, and then you go into the app and you you start adding it, and then you get to the phase where it it, it asks for you to give the you know the your local um, Wi-Fi network to connect to and the password, and then it fails. Basically, it starts blinking after a while. It it blinks red, and then the app says that the uh, configuration failed. And um, so, okay, I did all the possible tricks one can do. They say reposition in different parts of the house, uh, try a different USB power supply, um, didn't help. Tried to, you know, uh, even in desperation, I returned the Wi Fi settings on the router to defaults, and that didn't help. Same, same function now. Um, so, I just thought if it would help somebody. Um, else out there but it's um the the router i'm using is quite an expensive router it's um a linksys um ea 9500 so i mean it's not <laughs> exactly a junk piece of equipment but um could not get this um yeah could not get it to connect so anyway i Thought okay, it doesn't seem to be broken, and uh, yeah, and then I took took back one of these cameras to the store, and, and I said I want to change it. It doesn't connect, and they they basically just changed it. They didn't even ask any questions of why you want to change it or whatever, so they just gave me a new one. And then I ca uh, then I also bought one extra uh, of the same bra same make. So I actually ended up with two of these um, to play with, and both had the exact same symptoms. Of not connect. Uh, so then I said, okay, now I'm kind of like lost. What am I going to do? So I dug out my old router, which is this one. Um, <laughs> quite a many years old, phased out, you know, Deer 855 from Dealing. And um, uh, so yeah, I, I had it already set up, so it's just to connect it to the um, broadband network and then uh, yeah, power it up. I also did the same trick here as I went in and I reset the Wi-Fi settings to default just to make sure that they are. And then, um, bingo, I was able to connect this with no problems. And then it also upgraded the firmware on this, or at least it said it upgraded the firmware on this. So then I tried to return this to um, to connect it to my Linksys again, but that, that didn't work. So it still displayed the same problem. So, um, I tried to search the internet for explanations or whatever. So the only thing I found on the internet is people have been struggling to, sometimes struggling to um, connect TP-Link um, cameras to their wireless networks, and then they've been returning them to the shop. But there's no, uh, there was never any conclusive descriptions of what they exactly had as a problem or how they fixed it. So, but it seems like some people out there are having problems with this. Um, now, thankfully, the way the software is built is that it sends the video onto the cloud, like outside your uh, wireless network. So even if, like I have now, when I have uh, both wireless routers running uh, in parallel, basically connect. I can do that. I, I in my broadband um, service account, I can connect as many endpoint pieces of equipment I want. So it's it's not. I haven't got an IP number of IPs restrictions, as, at least I haven't hit it yet, so, so I've had up to three routers connected to the broadband um, hub, and um, or the broadband switch, and I haven't had no problems. I have fiber fiber um, connection into the house, which terminates in an in a, um, uh, Ethernet switch from the um, broadband company, and then I, was, uh, I have like, I think it's, I think we have like eight ports on it or something. So anyway, I, yeah. So uh, so I, now I'm running them in parallel, and and since the video goes out, the 
to the web when you're using the uh, the TP link software on the smartphone it integrates the two camera feed I mean the, the, you don't you don't see it as an end user that that your two of your in-house cameras are on one router and the rest are on another which is actually quite great because that means that you could actually pro you could set up a separate router with its own sub protections and then move all the cameras to that router and maybe even secure it more than you actually do the one the um, the router you're using for the general internet but I have um, uh, the drawback with the Linksys router is uh, which I bought based on on, a, on looking at different routers when I was upgrading is that but it, it does have one drawback compared to Asus high-end um, home routers is that Asus you get access to the low-level log information about what's going on in the system like if you have connection failures or something then you can actually you, you sometimes you can see the connection failure um, root cause in the log of the router but in the case of Linksys it's miserable the, 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 the amount of low-level information you get on the Linksys routers is exactly zero you get nothing so it's like a, it's funny because it's a very expensive router and for high-end use and then on the other hand they don't tell you any professional data so but anyway so I have absolutely no idea why the why the links fail um, and I haven't found any information on the internet explains I mean they're not broken but I mean how can you make a product that connects to one pretty generic Wi-Fi router but not to another I mean they both are actually even this older router is a, a dual band or a quad band router so it's got both 2.4 and 5 and I mean those standards haven't changed and I mean I have crap I have lots of different equipments I have iPhones Xboxes uh, TV boxes I have lots of different equipment connected to the Linksys and this is the very first time I've ever encountered a problem where it, where a device refuses to connect to the network just totally not wanting to connect but anyway, with this um, dual router configuration, I have both um, all the both uh, these cameras are working, and then I also been buying um, I think it's a KC120, the one on the metal stand. If you want to see that, you can watch it in my previous video. So I also have those up and running. So so as a, as pure camera functionality. I'm uh, quite happy, and the reason I wanted to have these these is the outdoor version. The KC120 is not for outdoor use, so if that gets rained on in cold conditions, it won't work. In theory, this sh this should work. So I actually do need these. But that was a bit sad. Maybe there'll be a firmware update someday, or because of planned obsolescence, this won't be thrown away, and then um, <laughs> it'll be replaced by another product that you have to buy. But I, I think I'm going to leave the setup like I have now. I, I absolutely have no idea what to do about the time getting it to be connected to my link system. But since the, the feeds are integrated on the application, I, uh, from, uh, as an end user, you, you don't notice that, uh, the, uh, that, as I said, the, which is a nice feature, that you don't notice that, that in, in the home, um, part of the cameras are on one router and the other, uh, uh, other cameras are on the other. Well, I just thought I'd make a short video about this. Maybe hope somebody help somebody out there. Like, <laughs> go get an old router if you want. If you if you want to run this, don't buy expensive Wi-Fi routers. <laughs> so anyway, if you like this video, um, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell icon to get notified. And um, if you do subscribe, you're helping me to get a, to the channel to get a custom URL, which would be greatly appreciated. So, see you in the next one.